Hey everybody, welcome to uh, part one of the demo for the Livewire AFG audio frequency generator. Uh, there'll be a part two because at this point I don't think I really spent enough time with this module yet to really give it uh, an awesome demo like it deserves. So uh, I thought I'll show everyone probably what they're most interested in, uh, the matter versus antimatter modes, as well as the harmonic animation saw and pulse outs. And we'll just take a look at all, all the different waveforms on my handy dandy little eBay scope here. So starting right off, let's just go down the line here. Let's look at the sine wave. That little squiggle is the scope. Uh, this thing. Just ignore that. So a pretty good looking sine wave. It actually looks a lot like uh, the Dalek's sine wave, if I remember correctly. Um, it's in normal mode. And this is antimatter mode. Pretty neat. It looks like it's about twice the frequency. Some louder than others, some peaks louder than others. Back to normal mode. All right, let's look at the uh, triangle. Again, pretty straightforward triangle. An antimatter mode, similar to the. Sorry, camera died. Camera died for a second there. Okay, so we're back in antimatter mode with the triangle. Again, similar to the to the sign. Looks like it's about doubling the frequency. All right, let's move on to the uh, the saw. It's a nice bright sounding saw. And the antimatter mode on this is a little interesting. Doesn't seem to be doubling the frequency necessarily. Well, I guess it is. But it sounds great at lower frequencies. Back to normal mode. Now let's check out the... Actually, let's check out the sub out, because this is pretty interesting. Here's the sub saw. But it looks different in antimatter mode than this normal saw does. It has this weird stair-stepping shape. And it does sound a little bit different. So you can get some interesting and different tones out of the sub saw than you can out of the normal saw in antimatter mode. And while we're in the sub out, let's look at the square as well, which looks like a typical square and looks just like the standard square. Oops, that's the wrong switch. It's antimatter mode. Antimatter, matter. Okay, so now that we looked at that, let's look at the normal square. And antimatter. Again, a little bit different here than the, the sub out. And since we looked at the square, let's look at the pulse width out. This is me manually adjusting the pulse width. Let's set the scope here a little bit better. Scope does not like this. That's a little better, I think. Pretty straightforward, but it sounds really fat. Oh, let's look at that in antimatter mode. Oh, that is an antimatter mode.
And this is matter mode. Yeah, that makes more sense. Again, this is me manually adjusting the pulse width. 